to Chad Strand's real estate website. If you're buying or selling, he can help. His website is designed to guide you through the process. Call Chad today for a free no obligation appointment. 612-849-4600. This is gonna be a really difficult 10 months to wait as we anticipate the iPhone 8. Yeah guys, we're already gonna be talking about the iPhone 8. So we've got 10 months to go. The iPhone 7 just came and went and the reason the iPhone 8 is going to be such a massive upgrade is because for the first time in three years, we're going to see a new design. We're going to see some crazy tech that we've never seen on an iPhone before. And I'm not saying we haven't seen this tech before. Apple is going to be heavily borrowing from galaxies for many Android phones. And I got to say, you know, no shame. Apple, do what you got to do as long as it makes the iPhone better. So the iPhone 8, for the first time in three years, is going to get a new design, a new display, a new tech. It's, it's going to be a little piece of the future. And in this video, I want to share everything we know about the iPhone 8 right now. And the fact is, we know a lot. I'm actually surprised about how much there is going around right now about the iPhone 8. One thing I wanted to touch on before we get into this video is the iPhone 7 rumors. So I actually said I'd talk a little bit about this, never got to it, but now that we're starting iPhone 8 rumors, I wanted to mention that the iPhone 7 rumors I covered, I made a lot of videos, I'm not gonna lie, I made a lot of those about them and how much of it was true. Believe it or not, there were only three or four things that we got wrong out of like 20 things that were right. So one, the iPhone 7 didn't get a smart connector. It didn't get a blue color and it didn't get the true tone display from the iPad. So that was just a few things that were wrong versus so many things that were right. And that was months, months, months in advance of the release. So I just wanna let you guys know, these rumors that I'm gonna be talking about are not just something I'm making up. They're coming from reliable analysts, from sources that are proven time and time again to be reliable. And guys, before I continue with this video, I wanted to give a big shout out to Apple Eye Designer. So I've actually been using a lot of his concepts for my thumbnails and for previous videos. I just wanna say a big sincere thank you to him. He's probably the most talented concept artist for the future iPhone releases. And I'll leave a link to his Instagram bio and his information down below. Go check him out, go follow him. All of his renders actually prove to be really, really close to the real deal. So let's begin with the iPhone 8. What will it be called? Well, there's a little dilemma here. It's the 10th anniversary iPhone. So that means Apple could actually do something different with the naming scheme as it is a very, very big event for them. A huge redesign, 10 years, not the 10th iPhone. It will be the 11th in succession, but it will be 10 years since the original one in 2007. And I think that's quite an achievement for Apple. They might wanna change up the naming scheme, but it's safe to assume it could be called the iPhone 8. I'll tell you what it won't be called though, the 7S, because the 7S would signify an S upgrade, which next year's iPhone will not be, it will be a full redesign. So how many models will there be? There will be three iPhone 8 models, the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus, and an unnamed exclusive flagship, the iPhone 8 with the organic LED display, with the new design, and it's just gonna be completely different from the standard lineup. Now, Wall Street Journal and Bloomberg both report that this is going to happen. There will be an exclusive flagship that will be separate from the 8 and 8 Plus. So we all wanna know, of course, about that flagship. What will it look like? Well, in Johnny Ives' very own words, it will look like a flat pane of glass. It will be the sleekest, cleanest looking design on an iPhone ever. And let's think about it. It's a little familiar, I'm not gonna lie, with the S7 or the S6. It's a glass design, front and back. Now we don't know about these sides, whether or not it'll have a metal border or be completely glass, but there are a few sketches going around already, concepts, and I gotta say, the actual idea of a phone that's made entirely out of glass and just a little strip of metal is fantastic. It looks so sexy. But according to Bloomberg and the Wall Street Journal, it will be a flat pane of glass. It will be completely made out of glass, not only this exclusive model, but also the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus. So the standard iPhone 8 and 8 Plus will actually have a very similar design to the current 7, 6S, and 6, except it will be fully glass now. So it will constitute a full redesign just in terms of materials. The actual exclusive flagship will be the one with the crazy wraparound display around the edges. So let's talk about the actual design of this phone. So we've got several sources that are saying it won't be the biggest one in the lineup. It'll actually have 5.2 inches of usable screen space with the rest wrapping around the phone, possibly to be used as volume buttons 
or some sort of extra information space. Now, of course, it's gonna have that organic LED display. It replaces LCD, it's a superior technology. You can actually curve the display as it is bendable. It has superior contrast ratio, superior black colors, it's more efficient. You can make phones thinner as it doesn't require a backlight. There are so many benefits to an organic LED panel, so it's about time Apple puts one in the iPhone. And this is the thing I'm most excited about because an organic LED display is awesome. Apple's gonna make it even better. They're gonna only have the finest display in their phone. I mean, if you take a look at their current lineup, LCDs, they have the best, most accurate color of an LCD ever made. Literally, they've reached the roof of how good an LCD can get. Now, it's time to incorporate a new technology, organic LED. Now, this is a very interesting detail because this one thing is going to make the difference between a smartphone and something that looks completely from the future. The iPhone 8 will not have a home button. So technically, the iPhone 7 right now doesn't have a real home button. It's just a piece of glass that's physically feeling like a home button with the Taptic engine, but there's no press. It's all part of the display. Now, the iPhone 8 is going to take that a step further with a fully integrated home button into the display. Apple has multiple patents for this that would allow them to use Touch ID anywhere on the display. Now, that means you can click home from many areas on the display. It'll probably still be towards the bottom of the phone, but there will be no cutout for a home button, no sort of physical presence of that home button. It will all be via software or some sort of solution like that. So it's gonna be an incredibly clean front look on the phone, and the actual camera itself, the front-facing camera, will be built, manufactured, and integrated into that display. Now, why? Why would Apple separate the lineup like that? And why would Apple add an all glass design? So the lineup issue, not everybody wants an organic LED phone. Not everybody wants to spend those exorbitant prices for a phone. You can bet your butt it's gonna be around $1,000. Okay, I'm gonna say it. You can bet your ass it's gonna be around $1,000. It's gonna be expensive. So not everybody's gonna to wanna to buy a phone that's worth that much. And why the glass casing? There's actually a couple reasons for this. Very good ones, in fact. So glass itself is beautiful. It's Johnny Ives vision for the future, but not only that, it could actually help with scratches. So that jet black color that we saw with the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, it scratches so easily because in the end, it's just metal, painted metal. Glass itself will be more resistant to scratching while retaining that same glossy factor. And it's been such a popular choice, but not a lot of people like me want to carry it around because it's just going to get so scratched up and I don't want a really scratched up phone. Two, the glass casing allows for easier transmission of energy. That means wireless charging. The iPhone 8 is rumored to come with wireless charging, finally. So not only is it gonna get wireless charging like the Galaxies, it'll get wireless charging from a distance. Now this is a big maybe. This one is a big maybe. Wireless charging, yes, but there are a couple problems to overcome with transmitting energy through a long distance in a room, you know, just loss of energy. And Apple needs to overcome this issue somehow. Uh, there is rumor that they're partnering with multiple firms in order to fix this and allow for something that's never been done on a phone, charging your phone while holding it in a room. How crazy would that be? But, you know, there's issues right now that they need to overcome. But in any case, it will come with wireless charging as there are too many patents that point to it happening. Now, Japanese site Nikkei is reporting that the iPhone 8 will receive an enhanced Taptic engine. This will be the fourth year in a row that Apple improves the vibration motor. And mostly because there will be a huge display and there will be no physical home button. So you're going to want to reproduce the feeling of a physical press anywhere on the phone and with a larger taptic engine that will be possible and a couple things i wanted to mention about the differences between the models we don't know much at this point but the standard iphone 8 and 8 plus will not have an organic led display they will just have lcds organic led will be reserved for the higher end flagship model so also the dual lens camera will be available on both the 8 plus and the exclusive flagship they will both share that camera the iphone 8 will still have its regular single shooter we don't know if it'll be a flattened camera bump on the back. I wish it would because Johnny Ive himself wants a flat slab of glass, not a flat slab of glass with a little hump for the camera. But an interesting detail about the camera on the Plus models is both lenses inside of the camera will now have an optical image stabilization motor. Currently, only the wide angle lens does, not the telephoto lens. And on the iPhone 8, both will have one, meaning better images, more stable while zooming on your camera. Really nice. And the very last thing I wanted to talk about is actual power. So the A10 in the iPhone 7 
is crazy how powerful it is. It impressed me with just the specs and then real world usage, how blazing fast it is compared to competitors. The Geekbench scores are off the charts. So there's a lot to live up to for the A11. TSMC already spoke and said that it will receive a 20% increase over the A10 in terms of power and a 40% decrease in actual consumption of energy. That's a pretty significant upgrade, I gotta say. It will mean the iPhone 8 has a much longer lasting battery. So it will be the first time in a couple years that Apple actually upgrades to a new type of chip, 10 nanometer construction for the A11 chip versus 16 right now on the A10. So it's gonna be a pretty significant bump there powerful iPhone and even better and more efficient. So of course we can always expect those in any iPhone release really. But guys, there it is. So that's currently everything we know about the iPhone 8. I gotta tell you, it will be an incredible release. Now I know what some of the people are gonna say. Yeah, it's just a Galaxy. It's getting all the tech Galaxy has, but Apple has a way of adding their own little touch to it, their own twist, and it's gonna be in the end a very, very nice tech. I know it took years, a decade to get here to an organic LED display when, you know, most Galaxy and Android phones started there. Well, some did, but regardless, you know, it will be a great release and I'm super excited for it. So I really think the iPhone 8 will be incredible. For the first time in years, a lot of people will finally be impressed with something Apple releases instead of just hating on it and always finding something wrong with it. Of course, it won't be cheap, as components, prices go up. The fact that Apple might have to develop their phones in America could influence that. So expect to spend a lot, start saving now. And you have Trump to thank for that. But anyways, guys, I just wanna say thank you for watching this video. I will be updating these kind of videos a little bit later on as we start to develop more rumors, uh, more reliable patents, stuff like that, you know, just everywhere where I get my information from. And uh, I will be sharing it with you. Okay, have a great day. Stay tuned for any iPhone 8 updates. Peace.